guys, wow. That's an incredible find. Wow. I don't know if you can see that everyone, but we've got a very tiny microlith. Now these microliths were used during the Mesolithic period. And I just found that just, just down there. So let's keep looking. I do need to be a little bit careful because we do have some crops here in this particular field. So I'm just keeping down the centre there. It's still quite small. So just keep in mind that they are there. Okay, just, just here, I think we might have a trancher. It looks a bit big for a trancher arrowhead. But that could be a trancher mesolithic spear that is actually really really sharp here just just on this edge that's not too bad a find so let's keep looking well i've been out for a good 30 minutes so far And although I'm enjoying the walk, not being too lucky. It could actually be a light, to be honest with you, making it quite dull and difficult to see what you're looking at on the ground. And it's been a bit of rain as well, so quite, quite often I find that the rain changes the texture of what the rocks look like. But moving on, Oh, that's quite nice everyone, we've got the sun peeping up just, just in the distance there. And so for that reason I'm actually going to set up my GoPro and catch a little time lapse on that. And I'll share that footage with you at the end. It does look quite nice. Well I've got the time lapse set up. GoPro's down, just down here, I'll show that to you everyone. And it's just filming that sunrise. Oh, wow. Guys, it's something, can it? Did you just see the way that colour changed? That's lovely. So fingers crossed, it's a nice footage, eh? Well, in the meantime, let's keep looking. And fingers crossed, there's something lovely to find. Well, at the moment, I'm actually in another part of the field. I've actually searched here before, and I have found a few stone hammers and a really interesting Neolithic hammer stone. So fingers crossed, I'll find something today. Okay, yeah, I think I've got something here. Very similar to what I've got already. This is a hammer stone used for breaking bone.
and I've got two of these already. One is quite large and one I was, at, was actually found in this particular part of the field. So yeah, I'm actually <laughs> pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna, once I get that washed up when I get home as well, yeah, not a bad find. Okay, everyone, I've just been searching this little spot and this <laughs> caught my eye and I think you could probably all see it actually. So I'm gonna focus in on that quite slowly. That, everybody, is a barbed and tanged arrowhead from the Bronze Age. That's the first barbed and tanged arrowhead of this particular variety that I found. And <laughs> I'm well pleased. That's a big wow, guys. It might be broken, but we got ourselves a Bronze Age barbed and tanged arrowhead. That's cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I am so pleased with that. That's incredible. Just turned it over and it's actually broken on the other side. It's probably been sliced by the plow or something. But yeah. Wow. For such a tiny little eye, I'm quite blown away by it. My first ever British Bronze Age barbed and tanged arrowhead of this particular variety. Oh, that sun's looking lovely, guys. Looks like we're going to have a beautiful day. I think we've got ourselves quite an interesting water stone. Or a hammer stone, I should say. I actually think it was probably used for grinding. That's ultra smooth. Just there. Perfectly flat. And really nicely shaped too. That's lovely. Again, we've got ourselves, it's Neolithic. Okay, that's cool. I just picked that up from down there. And that's a very early axe. Or a very primitive chopping tool. 
So we're looking at a very early, early, early Mesolithic or even perhaps a late Paleolithic item here. Nice. Now that's pretty cool. I was actually heading back heading back home and I just walked upon this <laughs> wow this is incredible this incredible hammer stone look at that that's lovely I said I found so many of these in this particular field they must have been making a lot of tools that's all I can say but that's incredible very nice. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, second hammer stone. Within just a couple of minutes. It's not quite as nice as the last one. Still. I'm going to take it with me, give it a wash up and pop that in my hammerstone box very nice now that's quite interesting I think it's just a piece of debitard but it's a really nice piece and that's been, that's taken, it looks mesolithic to me in the shape. It's like quite a large knife. A really big mesolithic knife. That's actually quite impressive if it is. So I'll take that back with me, give that a wash. That does look like it's been worked all the way along the edges there. And have a better look at that when I get home. Okay, everybody, a big, big thank you for joining me on this early morning field walking trip. We've got a few nice finds. I'm going to give those a wash up and have a better look when I get home. And I'll share them with you also at the end of this video. Got a beautiful sunrise which is literally just in front of me right now. It's a beautiful morning. And guys, a big thank you for watching. Give us a huge thumbs up. Leave us, drop us a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button. And it really will, and it really does help our channel. So big thank you. And we'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.